Hey, hey, what's up? What's up? It's Jane Parpang back with another message for the collective. Thank you guys so much for all the love. All the like, share, subscribe. I'm definitely sending all the energy back. Okay. Um, listen, so there is a queen and king of wands on the table. Okay. So this must be a divine counterpart couple. Obviously, this was sent from the spirit. Now, I know that people love to say that queen of like, uh, I'm sorry, that the wands is like player energy, but I feel like these two people are manifesting together. This was sent um, from the divine because this is earth angel energy. But the reason why you were sent somebody who's just as passionate as you um, is because you have won. You have overcome a lot of battles here. This is going to be either in love or this is going to be in business as well. Um, but you have expanded your business. You're, you're expanding your business as well as your consciousness and awareness, baby, because you're accepting the things that you cannot change. This is resulting in many, many advancements, okay? Initiations, ascensions, but literally like a, uh, bonuses at work and freaking new jobs, new home, new car. Um, but it's just something having to do with your family. I feel like your your money is directly tied into accepting something here. There's some sort of growth that happened that you had to see past something. So I feel like with the word expand awareness, it's like there was something being hidden from you on the surface. And so this pushed you into high gear. Um, and then you started being faced with the enemy, baby. Like you started being faced with all these like uh, obstacles, but you stay calm because a lot of people were pushing your buttons. We got purity and amplification. Yeah, this was just to amplify the purity that you have in your spirit because it's a lot of conflicted. People were very hot and cold with you around this energy. So this is giving like coworker. This is definitely giving like relationship as well. But it's kind of giving like if this is for your relationship, a lot of people in the neighborhood must be watching you or just a lot of people just be, must be paying attention to you and your lover or you and your business partner to see what y'all are about to produce, child. But it's like, yeah, I definitely see that the masculine specifically in this energy is the one that's overcoming a lot. Okay, this is giving like there's a lot of people who doubted this, this masculine. Mm. But the masculine feels like, oh, yeah, I'm about it, about it. Like, I'm gonna prove it to you. Like, they, they like, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna talk about it. I am about it, bitch. Because they say, oh, you're gonna accept me. I don't care whether you want to or not. You're gonna have to respect me. Yeah, because these people were too toxic. It was in reverse too. You're letting go. You're no longer. Yeah, you, you the 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 masculine here is very resilient. It's like I meant the resilience from resilience. You know what I'm saying? Like it's kind of like resilience in the in the upright way is telling me that they're like pushing back, but in reverse, it's like you're resilient against people who are trying to fight you down. Okay. But toxic is in reverse. And it's like, you're no longer lusting after this non-committal energy anymore. Okay. Yeah, this person is heartbroken after after you saw the, the truth about them. Okay, let's see. So with the selenite and the, um, what is this? Rutilated quartz. It's like, listen, love and creativity. So you are amplifying the love and creativity in your own life. These could be some crystals that you want to work with. Selenite is one that balances out all the crystals. So if you don't have any selenite, you should get some and look up its properties. Okay. Um, the signs being pointed out are going to be Sagittarius and Cancer. Okay. Monday, uh, Monday might be a specific day for you guys. So let's see. The name Welsh might step out, stand out to you, Lethos. So something about the moon. So with the moon energy, that's like, I'm telling you, a lot of things are being amplified, are about to be shown around your birthright specifically, okay? This is why you accepting these things are directly getting you paid. Because once you accept it, then you are able to invite in the proper energy <laughs> to bring in what you're trying to bring in. This is amazing. So let's see. Beauty, a talisman for beauty, grace, skill, and dancing. So the rutilated quartz is good for that. So glamour magic, that could be going on, but... You're growing. Your people are seeing you as very beautiful and graceful. Your hair, beautiful hair. You could like to to dance. Go ahead and take up dancing to get your body back right. Yeah, but so selenite is gonna attract love and invites harmony 
especially in romantic relationships. They say that it does enhance the power of imagination. It promotes tranquility and offers spiritual rejuvenation. Selenite cleanses and amplifies the energies of other stones. Yep. So you, they're asking you to do a, a cleansing at this time because baby, look, like my girl spirit just said, I say, baby, <laughs> listen, you're no longer in this energy. Yeah, because I'm telling you, people were non-committal. They were less enough. They just didn't see who you were. They were too broken to see that you guys could have worked on things together. But bye-bye, baby. Because um, this person is going to see you as a prize. The new person sees you as a prize, child. Cupid's nest. Yeah, this person is going to woo you. Anyway, so with this quartz, the rutilated quartz, it offers a revitalizing, purifying, and balancing effect. They said it's a high energy stone. So it's known as the eliminator. You could be an eliminator in people's life. That's what this is saying. And you amplify the properties of other stones. Whoa, both of these amplify. So that's so crazy because I didn't know the rutilated quartz does that. And not all the um, stones do that, but both of these specifically amplify. So every time, bro, every time you're near someone, you pump it up for them. Are you fucking serious? So yeah, that's why you're in the queen of wands energy. So hold on. This is why people have to stay in lustful energy after you because they, it's like once they get close to you up close, they just get stuck and, and get to staring. And they need to accept who you are because you are definitely a, a, a strong manifester. You could be a practitioner here, but either way, you could be just a prayer warrior. It doesn't matter. You're definitely, you're, you're definitely someone who speaks life into other people because you know what it feels like to be broken and heartbroken. Yeah, but you're very charming at the same time and kind hearted. This is why people are rocking with you. People love bonding with you and speaking with you. They feel like they can fight, they can confide in you and that you're not going to judge them. That's beautiful because people are hot and cold with, with them and they want to come talk to you about it. So this is great. Yeah, I do see a three of swords. Yeah, so there was a third party energy involved here. Um, yeah, but I feel like the, whoever was continuously in a heartbreak energy, it's like they consulted with the spirit and they were like, this isn't what I wanted. Like, you know, like you, you somebody thought they wanted, oh, I want the big car, the big house. I want this job. I want this and that. But once they got it, they had to give up it wasn't it didn't come wrapped how they thought maybe they had to give up stuff they didn't they weren't ready to give up something like that but there's definitely a third party energy here that played games somebody really was willing to step out on you but when they did it they had they had that person in their hands and they were like an in instant regret because they were like oh the grass was not greener on the other side they definitely this is why they this must be why they feel so conflicted because they really had a different, they now, it's like they had a different special bond with you and they know that now, this is insane. But you're having, so also, if this hasn't been revealed to you yet, you're about to get this in a vision. Somebody's about to get a vision and a download about this third party, okay? And if it's not, if it's not a third party here, somebody is not willing, there's a person that was stuck in their ways and I feel like you're the one that spoke life into them. You saw it for them, but they didn't see it for themselves because they first of all, couldn't accept who they really are. Therefore they couldn't accept what they were lacking. Therefore they couldn't cast out the enemy like my base ain't. you know? But anyway, they were chasing this toxic circle, but the toxic cycle didn't want them back. Yeah, excuse me, I said circle, but I meant to say cycle, but it, it really is giving like their, their own spirit team was forcing them to grow past whatever this third party energy was or side chick or or low energy low value type something mind games just run of the mill on a hamster wheel type of energy i don't know but whatever that was their spirit team was put was trying to push this person out of that but that person is so stuck in their ways like meaning like they're just happy being stuck they're happy being less than or whatever because they know they could be better for themselves so now this is why Spirit is like, okay, well, I'm going to give this person what they think they want. They asked for that, and now it's not enough. Now they're bored. Now they want more. Well, I'm sorry, because they use their ancestors for the wrong thing. These people, oh, my God. Okay, so these people definitely did a death spell. This keeps coming out. That shit was rebuked, but because somebody tried to use, somebody lied to their ancestors about why they wanted to end this, this situation. All right, look at that. Look. The, so somebody lied to their own ancestors, bro. They must have petitioned you or something for some of you guys. Take this where it resonates. But they lied about why they wanted to end this this working. Maybe it was a working um, 
relationship, but some something to do with a job or something that you're working on. They wanted to end something that you were working on really hard on. They lied about that. And now there's a big burden that is casted back to them because they were too worried about money with this king of pentacles. Oh my God. But listen, your ancestors are revealing the black magic shown from this Scorpio. Um, something that you ended here, but it they really just wanted to illusion. Somebody was trying to was trying to cast the illusion that they were ascending, but they really weren't. Cause they like they okay, so the enemy, whoever your enemy is, like that person was trying to like hide behind their ancestors and like I don't know if they just weren't like down to earth or something. Like I don't know if they were just too too out of this world. So they just something to do with like their own family. It could be a whole family doing this work on someone. But it's just like this whole family is in on it. Whether it be their ancestors or regular family, but there's some sort of illusions around this ending here. Or there's an illusion that something ended. Yeah. So somebody is making it seem like something ended. Whole time they're really working harder on the back end to make more money. They're working harder against this King of Pentacles. They're trying to put burdens on this King of Pentacles because the King of Pentacles is grounded, making money. You know, uh, Capricorn Taurus Virgo energy. Um, but they're loyal to their King of Cups and Knight of Cups. Look at that. Oh, yeah. This is a person who's very, like, they're telling you to stay strong, keep your emotions in check, and keep keep what you care for close to you because you are being presented new ideas and projects new people to work with at this time people that you can trust and like walk into a new beginning with because somebody really thought it was a game here somebody wanted you to play the fool so that they could trick you out of your spot and your money but you went to a meditation and in the meditation these people got beat them it's like when you went into a meditation they pulled you into a fight your your ancestors did like just to show you what was going on, but they're very resilient to maintain this wish fulfillment here. This is everything that you want. Oh, look at that. Because that queen of cups, that fucking water sign is always working with the devil right there. Cancer Pisces Scorpio. So this person is very much in their shadow energy. Could be a Capricorn involved here, but look, your empress is beating that motherfucking ass. Look at that. And you got your new person or you're the empress that you're in a relationship with. This is someone that you can build with. You are really, really building, planting a lot of seeds, making a lot of money. Things are growing. Like we've been saying, the seeds are in the ground, so you're just waiting on them to sprout. But yeah, that enemy is coming to collect. This is why this person feels like, this other enemy feels like they could, listen, they don't have permission. This queen of cups is ahead of themselves. This could be somebody's mom. This could be a coven leader. This is somebody's mom, sister, old lover, something like that. But this bitch got to calm down. Because the Queen of Wands has the King of Wands. It's a divine union here. And they're not ready. Look at that. They're not fucking ready. Are you serious? They're not ready for the Empress with the Seven of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, and the Ace, Ace of Wands. Like, It's like the more that you invest in yourself collective, the more money you make. The more that you find yourself and pour into your partner, your true soulmate, the more that you, money that you guys make. And it doesn't even matter if you're single. You're making a lot of ideas. Spirit is giving you a lot of ideas on how to make money and like keep a legacy for the rest of your family because you're undoing a lot of things that have been done. Somebody wants a child here, but somebody's been working really, I'm telling you, you've been working really hard on a business or whatever this is. You're trying to get to this advancement, get to this next level, but because you're held in high honor, things come to you naturally. So just keep following your dreams, follow your passion because everything else is blocked that is meaning to throw you off. Yeah, anything that, that's too hard, that's causing you to use your energy elsewhere, all that is not only being blocked, but it's being brought to the surface and handled by the King of Swords. So your ancestors are really not fucking playing with nobody with this King of Swords. Things are being revealed about this person. It's, it's a King of Swords here playing motherfucking games. And they really want to communicate with you, but that's a dead situation with the hangman because they sacrificed a real communication with you for some bullshit. But now they see you're in the star energy. And look, see, I told you it was some bullshit. They only want to come back and talk to you so that they can continue to steal from you. They're going to come approach you from a different standpoint. Like it's going to feel like a new energy, but it's not. It's the same energy just wrapped up differently. Because this motherfucker is arrogant. And they can't accept what role that they play in their own life, let alone yours. So stay mysterious because they don't know how you're able to celebrate the way that you are. They don't know why people are celebrating you like this. They don't know why your relationship is so good. They're so confused because they're like, oh my God, like, and they're also wondering if they, if you know that they cheated on you. Yeah, you do. You know everything. You're in the queen of pentacles, but this person is, is beneath, is like, they're a little too immature with the page of pentacles. So yeah, you're going to get a message. Their person is definitely going to text you, but I feel like they're going to want to ask you why the things end. They're definitely going to want to talk about why you moved away from them and you need to let them know because they was in five of swords. 
They were liars, they were manipulators, they were cheater heartbreaker, and that came at you quick and it was very emotional. You guys might have went through this stuff very, very quickly. Like you could have got serious with them fast or whatever. And shit, y'all could have got money with this person fast. But all I know is the will of fortune is in your favor. And whatever is going on now is supposed to be like that. Because something was unseen with the two of swords. Something has been exposed that you were blind to. They tried to make you blind. They didn't want you to see you were at a crossroads. This is why your money was held up. This is why your fortune and your pathway was held up. Because this person had to pay back their motherfucking karmic debt because for hurting you and everybody else. With the five of wands. They did too fucking much. And they were fighting. Ooh, they did not want to give in. They knew that spiritual purgatory was in for them. But they were just trying to control. Hold on to the little bit of fight left that they had in them. And then boom. Stressed out. Nine. Look at that. Nine of, wand, nine of swords followed by the fucking ten of swords. Page of cups. Now, your spirit team is so funny. They're walking up on these people while they're in jail. Or while they're in spiritual jail. Nightmare. <laughs> they're walking up to them. <laughs> telling them stuff. Like, hey, the spirit wanted me to let you know that this is payback number one of 365. <laughs> it's just really funny. Like, okay, Libra energy. Yeah, but the, the scales are being rebalanced because everything that happened had to, had to come back to the surface. Okay, so you're moving on. You're literally moving. But yeah, at, every time you move away, somebody keeps watching you online and sending you different telepathic messages, but you're stronger than them with the Hierophant. This is definitely somebody's ex for some of you guys or someone's parents. It could be a lawyer, somebody above you, like a manager. Also, don't let nobody follow you. If anybody's following you at work, like if they're following your social media from work, I would get rid of them because they could be a snitch. Yeah, we got the fucking Hierophant and the Emperor. Yeah, there could be somebody that's gunning for your position or trying to like, I don't know, but they, you're in a big ball. Hierophant, fucking emperor, and the hermit. They know that you'll fuck them up. They're scared of you. Yep, Ace of Swords. They're scared of you. They don't know what to do. They don't know how to take you. You scare them just by the. Oh my god, because you must not talk very much. You pull back your energy real quick. These people at work even know that your boundaries are up. Like Virgo energy, you are the light. Everybody gets ideas from you, and and it's like you got Hierophant and um, Emperor. So that's Taurus and Aries energy. Virgo. These people can't stand it and they because they just want to ask you for help, but they know they talked about you so bad they can't do it. So they feel like it's a missed opportunity because they know you are in the giving energy, but not to them because they, they missed out on you. This could be somebody you broke up with. But anyway, child, they got ahead of themselves. The advice is be honest with yourself and pull your energy back on this person. Okay, love you.